That is Shaquille Walker, and yes, he is named for that person. Uh, and got great speed and talent. We'll see how he figures in. Here's what I want to know. There's no Hector Hernandez in this race, therefore no rabbit for Donovan Brazier. That's a good point. The two of them have been joined at the hip the whole season long, and Hector likes a very, very hard pace, and Donovan just kind of leeches right off it. But Hector faded in the stretch and did not make it into the final. The pace is very good. They're not fooling around here. This is quick. Wow, is it quick. I mean, we're talking 24 seconds for the first lap. Wow, 24-10 officially they just announced. I was just eyeballing it there. Now, look at this. As I suspected, this could occur here, despite the fast pace. And he's run relay legs at 45.5 seconds. Both men, first and second. Sensational relay, guys. Both right at 45.5 seconds. Well, all of the studs are right in the front as he goes out in 50.3, does Brandon McBride. It's McBride followed by Brazier. Then Walker is right there. Now, the question is, everybody's going to tie up a bit. Is the stamina training getting up morning after morning going to help McBride and Ken? Brazier, hold on to him and outkick him. Boy, it's going to be a death march down the home stretch. Chris Sanders of the Sol also right there, but it's still Brandon McBride. He's enjoying controlling the pace, and Brazier, he might as well have had Hector Hernandez out there rabbiting him. Brazier coming up on McBride's shoulder. It's the senior, the, the mature one, the one that's won this title before on the inside, and then here comes the freshman. He drops in off the turn. Does McBride have an answer? It doesn't look like it. Walker trying to get into it, but here comes Times. Donovan Brazier, a sensation from the very first indoor meet this year, wins the outdoor NCAA title. Wow. 143.55. He has wow. just shattered the NCAA meet record, the collegiate record, and the junior record, the world junior record. No wonder McBride could not equal that. That is beyond a wow. That is an OMG, folks. That is the second fastest time in the world this year, and it does break when you adjust Jim Ryan's record, which Dwight has stood for 50 years today, was the record was set today, 50 years ago. I was struck with the confidence of Brazier to feel with 150 meters to go that he would have something left. He actually swung wide on the turn. He lost perhaps a step of time running wide. Walker came up well. McBride still ran extraordinarily well. This is just sensational stuff. It lived up to every billing anybody in this facility could have expected. McBride was 144.50, a personal best. Okay, how about this? The last time a freshman won this title, it was Paul Ehring of Virginia, who just went on to win the Olympic gold medal in Seoul in 1988. Unbelievable performance by this young freshman. Brandon McBride with a personal best gets second, Shaquille Walker third, and the winner is Don downstairs with Jill.